Nothing has been the same ever since I overdosed. My wife, she couldn't bear to live with me. She wasn't wrong. I only ever thought about myself. We got divorced three months ago and I started using it more than ever. I didn't believe in this anonymous group therapy session, but it seems like I needed it more than I thought I would. And your father's age was? 53. Have you been aware of any threatening calls? No, actually I don't know. Where were you last night then? Both my parents are divorced and I was with my mom. Sir, so, just reached the spot. Third one this month with the same pattern. Do whatever you want. Just close the case as soon as possible. Sure, sir. friends or relatives of his passed away recently okay you may leave now be there whenever we call for investigation It's the third one this month with the same pattern and this time there is a note. So, yeah, the collected footprint and handwritten evidence are correlating with the clinical disorder. So we have to meet Dr. Niranjana to know about this case. Okay, sir. I have some other work regarding this case. So just go and meet Dr. Niranjana. Okay, sir. Come in. Please take a seat. Hi ma'am, my name is Teeftha and I have been sent here regarding the case 15. Oh yes, I was told that Mr. Raisin would be meeting me. Yeah, I'm his assistant. Uh, he has went off to deal with something related to this case itself. So he's asked me to take care of the session. Ah, yes. From the signs and symptoms, I think it's probably Parkinson's. Parkinson's? Okay, I'm pretty sure that you're not aware about the basics of neuroanatomy, so let me explain it to you. The brain is made up of outer grey matter and inner white matter. The subcortical structures constitute the basal ganglia. Let us move on to the parts of the basal ganglia and their functions. The formation of the parts of the basal ganglia can be seen. The blue part is the caudate nucleus, the purple part is the putamen, the yellow part is the globus pallidus, the green part is the thalamus and the orange part is the subthalamus. The various connections of the basal ganglion constitute two important neural pathways. 
These neural pathways are involved in the control of motor activities. These two pathways are the direct pathway and the indirect pathway. In this video, the blue pathways are considered to be excitatory and the pink pathways are considered to be inhibitory. Now let us first begin with the direct pathway of the basal ganglia. This pathway is stimulated when movement of the body occurs. It begins with the cortex where neurons are projected into striatum which constitutes the caudate nucleus and putamen. The projections of the cortex to the striatum is excitatory which contains glutamate as a neurotransmitter. From the striatum, the projections then pass on to the globus pallidus internus. These projections are unlike the previous one. They are inhibitory in nature and they contain GABA. These projections then pass from globus pallidus internus to the thalamus. These projections are also inhibitory and contain GABA like in the previous one. In the end, the thalamic neurons are excited and through the thalamocortical projections, the target neurons in the motor cortex of the forebrain are stimulated. In conclusion, the direct pathway is an excitatory pathway. We have completed the direct pathway of the basal ganglia. Let us move on to the next pathway, which is the indirect pathway. Indirect pathway. This pathway begins from the cortex projecting to the striatum. Instead of sending axons directly, they project to the external globus pallidus. The neurons from the GPE send inhibitory fibers to the subthalamic nucleus instead of sending directly to the thalamus. From the subthalamic nucleus, neurons send their axons to the internal globus pallidus, then continue as the direct pathway with GABAergic inhibitory neurons to the thalamus and glutamate excitatory efferents to the cortex. So functionally, striatum inhibits the external globus pallidus and that causes inhibition of the subthalamus. For that reason, the neurons of the subthalamus becomes more active and they excite the internal segment of the globus pallidus which in the end inhibit the thalamic nuclei. Direct pathway is stimulated by dopamine via the D1 receptors and the indirect pathway is inhibited by dopamine via the D2 receptors. In Parkinson's, since the secretion of dopamine is deficient, excitation of direct pathway and inhibition of indirect pathway is inappropriate. This leads to hypo and hyperkinetic movements respectively. Okay, thank you ma'am. They show trembling, sometimes they are rigid, unable to walk. In some advanced cases, they will have some emotional issues too. If you are searching one of them, they are innocent. Why is he not getting in my call? And also, Ildopa is the drug that is generally used to treat this condition. They show trembling. Today he hasn't spoken that much to What if he is the one we are searching for? <laughs> 